Welcome back, in this video I will talk about image collection charts. These are basically time series charts. But before that if you haven't watched the introduction to charts video I highly suggest to watch that first and then come back here. Also make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon for notifications. Without any further ado let's begin the video. Look carefully at this table. These are the image collection charts available on Google Earth Engine at the moment. Let us take a look at the first type of chart, which is DOY series chart. DOY is acronym for day of year. This type of chart display values of bands inside the image collection. Please note that it is bands and not band. It requires an image collection of one year. If you provide image collection of more than one year by default it will take the first 365 days from the yearly collection. Also this type of chart works for a region. Consider region as shape file of a city, province, country or a continent. Let's go to the Earth Engine code editor and practically demonstrate this type of chart. I have loaded daily modus land surface temperature data and filtered it for my study area which is the shapefile of Islamabad loaded from my assets. This data is an image collection of 30 days starting from December 1st to December 31st 2020. I will mention again that this type of chart requires bands over a region. By default it takes one year data but you can filter the data for specific days of the year you're working on. That's why I have filtered image collection for just for 30 days. Now head to the docs and type DOY and select the DOY series chart. Copy the code and notice that some of its attributes are in non-italics while others are. Italics mean that this is not a compulsory argument. Paste the code you copied in the code editor and modify it like so. In the image collection give the data you have filtered. Region is the shape file of your study area in my case it is Islamabad city. Region reducer means how would you like to aggregate the image collection data. In simple words it means that from the image collection what kind of value you want to extract for example minimum temperature, average temperature or maximum temperature. I have applied mean reducer. To apply a reducer type ee.reducer.mean, you can replace the mean with min or max. Finally it is very important to give a scale if you apply a reducer. Scale is the spatial resolution of the image collection you are working on. This LST data was acquired over a resolution of 1000 meters. I will remove some arguments from the end for example the date reducer, starting day and ending day etc as I don't need them furthermore I have already date filtered the data. Now print the chart and in the console earth engine will generate it. You will notice that chart starts from day 336 and end at 365 which is because of the date filter I applied earlier. All the bands are plotted on vertical or y axis. Let's create an image collection containing only one band. Select the LST band using the dot select function. Copy the band name and paste it inside the function as a string. Now let us quickly scale the land surface temperature data and convert it from Kelvin to Celsius scale. For that I will map a function over the filtered image collection. Inside the function I will return the image collection after multiplying it by 0.02. This value 0.02 is given inside the modus LST image collection description. Next I will subtract 273 from it to convert from Kelvin to Celsius scale. Copy the rest of the code I will explain that in another video. Now I will quickly replace the chart arguments and print it. Now it has only one band. This is valuable if your image collection contains a single band over one year. That is the first type of chart for the last 30 days of December 2020. In summary this type of chart is applicable to 365 days only of an image collection. You can display many bands with it or just one if you manually filter a band. You can also filter specific time series within a year for example few months of a year. Just remember it is yearly chart that plots daily data within months of that year. This was the part 1 of image collection charts. In part 2 I will continue with the charts that are not yet explained. Also I will teach you the decoration of charts in another video dedicated to that. Till then stay well. Peace.